Hi everyone, Dan Scott back again with yet another video and guess what I'm going to talk about today? You guessed it, the watch times. But not only the watch times, but the relationship of the watch times to the figure of a crown. Because when we consider the crown according to the statement of James and the blissful, we have to always go back to the watch times, Luke 12:38. The blissful expectation encompasses the last days according to the watch times, where those who will come into the regency of God accords with the first, the second, and the third watch times, where again, the, the curse, the curse of the goats, Matthew 25, 41, is into the fourth watch time. So the crown of the glory, the crown of the life, the Ionian life, is something that we are to pursue into according to our faith. It's the wrestle of the faithing, which the Apostle Paul uses the figure of a crown in conjunction with a race, a race in a stadium. And those who will allot Ionian life in the regency of God is according to a term called the deciding factor, where I want to show you the relationship of the watch times to this word. So let's go over to the computer now and consider these two occurrences. So here are the two occurrences of this verb, deciding factor, as found in 1 Corinthians 9.24 and Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, where most of all the translations translate this word as a prize, which is somewhat misleading because this verb actually describes that of the act of an umpire calling a shot, which the shot which is called would center around those who are approved and those who are unapproved. Now, let me say this right out of the gate. <laughs> okay, right out of the gate. This occurrence in 1 Corinthians 9.24 is not limited to one watch time. It actually accords with all of the three watch times, first, second, and third, where Philippians chapter 3, verse 14 is specific to only the unnamed first watch time of Luke 12, 38. So in this video, we're going to consider the deciding factor in relationship to the bigger picture of all who are running in that stadium who will receive the crown into the completion where you could say some will come in first place some will come in second and some will come in third paul writes do you not perceive that those running in a stadium and pay attention because this word stadium is very relevant to what we'll talk about later but only one takes the deciding factor question mark so understand, when Paul uses the term one, he's not referring to one individual. He's referring to the one body, according to the deciding factor, the victory of the crown and what it affects. And what does it affect? Well, it affects either life, Ionian life, into the future eons of the eons, or death into the eons, according to the curse of the fourth watch time. So again, the relevance of the blissful expectation according to the watch times is all according to what Paul uses in this figure of the deciding factor, whether among the first, the second, or the third. So the revelation of the blissful of the first three watch times is profoundly seen in this word translated stadium which is from the Greek noun stadion. And here in 1 Corinthians 9.24, the DLT translates this word as a stadium only here, where I've placed the definition from Blue Letter Bible on the screen. However, the same Greek word stadion is also translated stadia as a measure of distance, where... How many times do you think we find this word stadia as a unit of measure in the New Testament? Well, three times. Because again, those according to the fourth are not running. Now, what's very profound and interesting 
which we could go into a deep investigation here, is that there are three occurrences where we see in Luke 24, 13, the distance is 160 stadia. Where in John 3, 19, the distance is reduced to 25 or 30 stadia. And then in John eleven eighteen, about 15 stadia. Now, here in Luke's account, this follows the account of the empty tomb and the awakening of Jesus, where the men are reminded of the third day. Very profound. And also, each of these three accounts names a different village where here, Emmaus means warm bath. Now, according to John 3.19, Jesus is walking to them on the sea, where Capernaum means village of consolidation, where again, the measured distance of stadia is now reduced, where in the third occurrence, about 15 stadia, we find the parable of Lazarus, who was said to be of four days in the sepulchres, which is also relevant into the fourth watch time, but also the completing of Christ at the finishing of the third watch time. And Lazarus being from Bethany is also profound because the word Bethany means house of misery. Now, as for the occurrence in Luke, that of the furthest distance, pay attention to some of the key characteristics here, which according to my estimation, parallel the origin beginning of the coming last days, beginning at the first watch time. Here in verse 14, we see the men assimilating themselves concerning all befallen them. And to assimilate means to compare and to bring into accordance one's views and opinions, where in verse 16 here, verses 16 and 17, we read of their eyes being held and being dull-eyed in their understanding. So again, in a parallel concerning those who are dull-eyed and not understanding is really according to the first watch time, which according to my observation, not many are perceiving exactly the context of the unnamed first watch time in Luke 12, 38. So again, what people need to perceive is the completion of Christ according to the blissful expectation of not only a first watch time, but a second and a third. And as stated many other times, the third watch time is the context of the third day. But we, we expect that he, yea, he is the one being about to redeem the Israel but also for this cause, together with all these things, indeed, we had the third day away from since this came to be. So again, the third day completes the Christ and the redemption of all Israel who will be saved into the allotment for their racing for the crown into that day, into the last day who will also receive Eonian life and allotment in the regency of God. So here are some profound insights that I wanted to point out to you regarding the word stadium, the race and the wrestle of the faithing for all who will allot the regency running in the race, where here the deciding factors not only according to the first, but also the second and the third, where in my next video, we're going to examine the second occurrence of the word deciding factor according to Paul's personal own pursuit after the revelation of the upward calling into the out resurrection was given him that we all presently can still pursue and run toward. So please share the video and pray for the out called. Pray for those who are not yet heeding the word of God, who are not hearing and understanding because God's going to give opportunity into the last days for all of this. But we want to pursue now. We want to understand now so that we're not ashamed into subsequent watch times, but that we may come prior to others.